Have you ever noticed that when one person pees, others will often follow along? A team of researchers is proposing that that phenomena, that contagious behavior among humans, may have deeper evolutionary roots than we would have assumed, and it's based on this group of chimpanzees. They live in a sanctuary in Japan, and their handlers noticed that when one would pee, others, especially if they were in really close proximity, would also pee. In Japan, there's a name for the act of urinating with others, and there's also an Italian proverb that states whoever doesn't pee in company is either a thief or a spy. And just real quick before I move on, here's, I just want you to appreciate this figure from the paper about the historical importance of peeing in groups. After analyzing over 600 hours of data, including over 1,200 peeing events, they were able to determine that these peeing events, they were not random. When one chimpanzee peed, others truly would be more likely to, especially if they were in really close proximity, but there was a twist. In humans, they were kind of comparing it to contagious yawning. With contagious yawning, it tends to have a stronger connection between social pairs with a stronger connection, and they thought that may be what they found with the chimpanzees peeing. But instead, they found a pee hierarchy, where when one would pee, if it was higher up on the hierarchy, the chimpanzees, especially the closer they were to it, if they were lower on the hierarchy, they would follow. So the evidence seems to suggest, and it's early on, this was only one group, and it's a group in captivity as opposed to a group in the wild. The researchers talked about wanting to do this with bonobos as well. But this evidence suggests that the act of peeing may be a social contagion. And our innate desire at times to go pee when other people around us have to go pee, that sounds weird, but... Essentially what they're saying is that could have a deeper evolutionary driver in our ancient ancestral lineage that existed before the last common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees between seven and nine million years ago or so. And remember, it wasn't a human, it wasn't a chimpanzee back then, neither existed. It would have been an ape that evolved into both our populations as well as many others. And if you wanna learn about that time and that evolution, Follow my page, I talk about the ancient human evolution all the time.